Yo, what's going on and welcome back to another Genshin Impact video and today we are continuing the Vishaps and where to find them event and we're going to go ahead and do those dispatch missions now as we've been doing in the last few I kind of didn't really know what to talk about today um, mostly because there isn't a whole lot going on so I guess the only thing that like I've been thinking about lately regarding this game is like the th the one thing that could really improve the strength of my account because like yeah there are definitely some changes i could make to my artifacts as i farm some better ones as i farm more talent materials i could get closer to those maxed out talents so there's some strength left that i can achieve there but like my characters are generally fully leveled up that i use and so there's one other thing that I could get a whole bunch of power from and so I've been thinking about how I would go about getting a weapon mm, what do we want to do here venti oh geez what about these two not quite good enough but yeah I've been thinking about getting a weapon because I really I'm missing a lot of power with only having four star weapons because like how much attack is missing off of a four star compared to a five star i don't even know the exact statistics because i don't have a i want ka-ching give me ka-ching um i don't actually have a five star weapon so i can't really tell you what the difference is but it's probably somewhere in the region of like 150 to 200 attack which is a lot considering we're talking an uh, base attack first of all is what it's improving and second of all uh, that's like 10% of your DPS's attack so missing out on 10% of your damage and if you include the fact that it's base attack it's more like um, 15 to 20 percent of your damage possibly even more that you're just missing because you don't have a five-star weapon now also some of the five-star weapons just have like ridiculous effects like um, Staff of Homa is pretty insane, especially for Hu Tao. So that would be one of the weapons that I would love to have, but like I can't really justify rolling for a Staff of Homa, right? And mainly that's kind of my own issue because I, I love characters. I feel like the main fun in the game for me comes from collecting characters. What do we want? Character XP, I guess? Sure. Yeah, it comes from collecting characters and using new and fun characters. But they don't get to their full potential because I don't have these five-star weapons. So I don't really know what to do about it because in the current state of the game, generally every three banners or every third banner, um, I have saved up enough resources to ensure that I could get the character, which works pretty well if you're picking and choosing um only characters that you really want or look cool to you but when you're trying to get every single character it's just not really possible do we have another mission oh we completed all the missions <laughs> okay well we don't really have anything to do then why don't we look at the weapon banner then actually so like the last character that i got before hu tao was ganyu so then I skipped Zhao, and granted this cycle was a little bit different, it was two week cycles instead of three week cycles, but I skipped Zhao, I skipped Kaching, even though I really wanted to go for Kaching, I was like, if I go for Kaching, I can't guarantee Hu Tao. So I skipped Kaching, because you could get Kaching anytime. I could have gotten Kaching on the Hu Tao banner, but I got Hu Tao as my first five star off of it. But then I got Hu Tao, right? And now, if we're looking at my resources, like I've already saved up enough combined with what was left from when we went for Ganyu, which I haven't tapped into this at all since we went for Ganyu. Ganyu is the only character I spent anything on. And so now I'm back at an entire whole pity. So I can get most of the next character. If we include my Masterless Star Glitter, I'm sitting here with like halfway, maybe a little bit less than halfway to a double pity. And a double pity is essentially what's required to guarantee that you will get a character. 
So when it comes to rolling on weapon banners, like I would love the staff of Homa, but if we look at the details of this thing, and I'm sure you you already know all this nonsense, but it's only a 75% chance that you get one of these, which is cool and all, but is there a guarantee? Like I've never rolled on a weapon banner at all, just because I understand that it's a pretty big scam in its current state. Guaranteed to win five star weapon, yeah, yeah, yeah. The first time there's a 75% chance that it will be one of the promotional weapons. If the is not a promotional, the next one is guaranteed to be a promotional. So the second time you get a pity, it is guaranteed to be one of these two. But you can't guarantee which of these two it's ever gonna be, right? And in the case of my account, I don't use any two hand characters that would benefit from a wolf's gravestone right now. The only two hand character that I use is Noel, and White Blind is a pretty good weapon for her. There's plenty of other good options. Maybe Wolf's Gravestone would be good for her, but I don't want to use Noel as a main DPS. So getting a five star for my support character feels really bad. <laughs> which is why I haven't rolled on any of these weapon banners, even though both of these weapons are great and the odds of me getting one of them is pretty high. Unless I get Staff of Homa, I'm gonna be upset about it, right? And there's no way I could guarantee a Staff of Homa. So it's kinda, it's kinda unfortunate. And I don't really know what to do with weapon banners at the moment because a five-star weapon could greatly increase the power of my account when we're looking at like, the four star weapons that I'm using here, it's going up to like 510 attack at their best. And I know that like some of the five star weapons can get like a high 500s, even mid 600s, possibly even high 600s. I don't know, is the, is the highest attack on a weapon like 674 or something like that? Is that legitimate? Is that what Staff of Homa has? I don't remember, mostly because I don't have one. But yeah, I would I would love to be able to get myself a five-star weapon. I just don't know how to do it. And now, the thing that you could consider is I already have enough characters, right? Like, I got the characters required to beat the game. I can, I can beat the game with this list of characters. But, like, I like getting new characters. And I don't want to spend a great deal of money on them, mostly because it's just not smart for me to do that right now. If I was in a different position, then maybe I would spend a lot more money. And I, I don't have a problem with spending money on this game. It just doesn't make sense for me to do so right now. So I will I will do it as I feel like it or as I want to, essentially, which isn't very often because I don't like to waste money. I'd rather uh, save it and then hopefully set myself up better for the future. But anyways, that's that's pretty much what I wanted to talk about today, especially since we didn't even have uh, stupid vishaps to go hunt and kill. Um, yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think about weapon banners? Do you guys have five-star weapons? Obviously, I've only hit pity once on the standard banner, and it gave me a Deluke. So now we've got three Delukes, which is uh, something else, let me tell you. Um, I really should probably use Deluke, but I just don't want to. <laughs> And with all the fire characters, I already have Klee, I already have Hu Tao. I really want to use Bennett because he's like the best character in the game, even though he looks real stupid. <laughs> that was perfect timing. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I already have plenty of fire characters. I And then my first DPS character ever was Zhang Ling. And she's a fire character, so she's like moderately leveled. I, I just like, I can't, I can't invest in all these fire characters. I need other stuff. But maybe at some point I will end up building the Luke. It's it's a struggle, especially since I love characters. And I love like Hu Tao is now my favorite character. I love using Hu Tao and Ganyu. They're so cool. They're so much fun to use compared to just some of the other characters in the game. But yeah, I don't know what to do about weapons. Maybe I'll start rolling on weapons in the future. It's just with how I'm playing the game, it's essentially impossible for me to ever save up enough resources to roll for a weapon without costing me a character, right? So, I don't know. That's just how it is at the moment. Maybe they will change the amount of resources that you can get for actually wishing, because I think it's a little bit low at the moment. I feel like 
a free to play player or someone in my shoes who maybe spends a little bit but not necessarily for primo gems and summons i mainly spend on the battle pass and i get like the blessing of the welkin moon i feel like someone like me should be able to get um two of every three banner characters and at the moment i don't feel like that's possible i feel like it's more like one out of every three banner characters so in a way i feel like it should probably be like twice as much but maybe give me your thoughts as well and we can discuss it a little bit because if it was two out of three then maybe i could justify skipping two characters and instead getting one weapon one or two weapons because i could hit pity twice on a weapon banner right and all of a sudden i got the possibility to get two different uh five star weapons that could potentially help out multiple characters in my box but either way that's gonna do it for this one hopefully you enjoyed maybe you have your own input on this but I will see you next time.